she say? This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Also visit beatenblackandblue.com. Beatenblackandblue.com. That link is in the description section to get your boy's brand new book about policing in America from your boy's perspective. It's the greatest police book that you're going to read probably in your lifetime unless I write another book. Anyway, let's get into this. This young lady, I think her name is uh, Nicole Arbor. I don't know if that's her real name or not. Blonde chick, attractive, and she's extremely opinionated. Now, I don't know where she stood before this, but she has come out to be one of the one of the strongest conservative voices that I've heard. And I'm talking about bold voices. I, I don't know about popularity. I know she got millions of subscribers, but her, but she's bold. Now, let the reason why I'm making this video is because this has to be the most epic thing I've ever heard from anybody that's white. I'm, I'm just I'm just throwing it out there for anybody that's white. Normally. People who are white, unfortunately in America, some people feel they don't have a voice. They can't say the cringy things. Uh, uh, they can't talk about Black Lives Matter or nothing like that because they'll get canceled or whatever. But this young lady just hit them in the face. And before I play her clip so you can know uh, what she said, so you don't, have to, you don't have to take my opinion, before I play her clip, I want to challenge anybody to prove her wrong. Some people are going to be mad because she's going to say something that's going to throw some, throw some flamethrowers. But can you prove her wrong is the question before you get in your feelings. Can you prove the young lady wrong? So without me running my mouth too much, let roll, roll, roll the film. Ooh, I got a rant today. Okay, I'm on my way to the gym, all gymmed out, and I read an article that BLM collected $90 million last year in 2020. And you know how much of that? The Black Lives Matter chapters and the people who are actually doing things in the community have seen. Can somebody answer the question? How, did anybody know the answer to that? How much money have they seen? How much money have they seen? Put your comment in the comment section. Let me know. I, I, I just want you to, I don't want to see if we all on the same page. Zero dollars. Zero. It is official. The $90 million raised for Black Lives Matter was completely stolen. It's Tell them why, girl. It's been stolen. It's gone. This, this to me is the biggest black on black crime since black people sold black people into slavery, which is how that happened, by the way. Like that. <laughs> Somebody gonna get mad right here. But is she wrong though? That's all I want to know. Is she wrong? Is she wrong? I'll let her finish. That's that's the history of slavery. This is absolutely <laughs> insane. And every freaking fake, woke, dumbass celebrity that got all of their fans and all their people to donate. Donate to Black Lives Matter because we're not racist. We stand with black people. Buy the t-shirt. Donate. You didn't do any fucking research. And now your fans donated to nothing. Nothing. Not a penny of that has gone to the black community to help anybody. I've said this before, that if that money was invested into the small businesses of black people during COVID, it would have been the great equalizer. I, I, I agree 100 percent i agree 100 percent because it could help those businesses when they open help them survive the storm none of it got to them zero dollars so maybe it's time for us to stop being so stupid and fake woke and showing up to protests and putting on a t-shirt and you know we had good intentions because of course everybody should be equal like that's just kind of like humanity 101 but to give your money and corporations to give money to something that didn't even exist, it's your fault for being that stupid. How freaking stupid. If that money, if $90 million would have been invested in Bitcoin in June of 2020, it'd probably be around $300 million now in profit. But none of it. Zero dollars went to the black community. So I just want to tell you guys. Uh, first of all, I told you so. <laughs> when everyone's like, Nicole, why aren't you like posting about BLM? Why aren't you doing all this stuff for BLM? Because it's not a real organization. It's not a thing. Like, Black Lives Mattering, of course. But BLM is not an organization. They I, I love this. I love, I hope that this calls everybody to be bolder. And I know she probably got a life on, got money and everything. Uh, so she probably not worried too much. She ain't working on a corporate job, but... This should make everybody bold. Let me let her finish. They have no programs that support the black community. They have no programs that do anything. And the chapters that did have programs that do things got nothing. It was a freaking money heist and everybody trying to be all woke. Y'all got robbed. 
There's some weird irony in that. <laughs> uh, so I just I just had to throw that out there. Y'all feel feel the way you want to, but I think that that was facts because facts don't care about your co color of your skin, don't care about your feelings. None of that matters. It's facts. Now. Black Lives Matter. I'm not a part of Black Lives Matter organization. Never been a part of it. Don't want nothing to do with it. But those are facts. I have not read anywhere where it says that there was chapters giving large substantial amounts of money to push into the community. I have not seen anything where Black Lives Matter have wrote, written a check to a business that was burned down in the BLM riots. I have not seen a check. I've not seen anybody advocate. I haven't seen nothing done. No, nothing. Can somebody say it with me? Say it with me. Nothing done in support of the people who lost their lives. I have seen nothing done for the people who have lost their lives in the community through, due to black on black violence and, and gang activity. I have seen none of it. And if somebody can prove me wrong, write it in the comment section. Write in the comment section. Write the girl on the, on on Instagram and, and tell us she's a liar. But until then, you just got served. You just got embarrassed. Because the thing is, is that black br brothers like me and a, a few of us will stand up and say something. But to me, when you have somebody bucking against the system, because being white in America today, you can't say anything that has to do with black and brown bodies or you're going to get canceled. To hear somebody stand up and say that and, and be bold about it is encouraging to me. And I hope it's encouraging you. Anyway, I could talk about this for three or four more hours. I want to know what you think about what she said about Black Lives Matter. Was it true or was it false? Put it in the comment section. Vi visit beatingblackandblue.com to get my brand new book. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.